Christians all around the world, wherever they are, in the hands of Okike. Of course, my name is Mazi Ike Chukwonoha. I hail from Olo in Omoawa. What am I saying? I hail from Omoawa in Olo, rather. And of course, Olo is in Imo province of Biafra land. I will be your servant once again, as always, this morning. And of course, Biafra is rising once again this morning. Father, we thank you this morning because we have gathered again. We are your people. We are Biafrans, oh God. We are on the winning path. We are on the victorious path because it has been ordained that a day like this, that your children will gather, that we are going to restore this land of the rising sun. Nobody can stop the restoration of Biafra, not even the enemies within. Those who claim to be Biafrans, those who are answering the names of Biafrans, but yet they are fighting against that name which is Biafra. Father, you know all the saboteurs wherever they are. Some of them are even among us. Some of them are even on our platforms, pretending to be Biafrans, putting fire, trying to cause confusion. But Father, I say, any saboteur who is trying to derail this gospel according to the restoration of Biafra, you are going to derail their families. You are going to derail whatever they lay their hands on to do. They came in sheep clothing, pretending to be one of us. But you know them. You know who they are, Father. They will be disgraced. Their families will be disgraced. Whatever they lay their hands on to do will be disgraced so that they will know that Biafra is the project of Chukwoki Kabiyama. That Biafra is a spirit and Biafra is not man. It is not a visible thing that you can see. But it is something that is beyond our imagination. My goodness me. They fight every day against this honorable family of IPOB. They are so jealous of our leader Mazen Nam De Kano because of what he has achieved. They insinuate, they look for opportunity to put fire. But we know who we are. And of course, we believe that any good Biafran, any good IPOB and who is loyal under the command of Mazen Nam De Kano, they know what we stand for. They know what we want. And all we want is Biafra. And Biafra we must get. Therefore, this morning, Chukwuki Kabiyama, I commit the nation of Biafra to your hand. I commit your children, Biafrans, to your hand. Wherever they are, whatever they do, wherever they put their hands, oh God, that is good. You will bless the work of their hand. And our enemies will put to shame. Those who are fighting us, the enemies within are the worst than our actual enemies. Those who claim that they are Biafrans, those who claim that they are one of us, but yet they are fighting against the struggle. Father, they will all be disgraced in the name of Chukwoki Kabiyama. Anything they put their hands on, wind shall blow it away so that they will know that nobody who ever betray his people will go unpunished. Father, we'll thank you this morning and we'll bring our leader Mazen Nam De Kano before your throne of grace. He is the prophet of our time. He has never failed us. He has never led us astray. He has stood for the truth. Whatever he say he will do is what he do. He has never said one and do the other way around. But of course we know our enemies will always try to twist his words. But at the end of the day, the truth will always prevail. Father, bless your leader, Mazen Nam De Kano. Protect him and his family, wherever he is. This is the man that have given all for this struggle. This is the man that have paid every price for this struggle. I say, Father, bless him. And we also commit all the directorate of state, all the principal officers, those who are working assiduously for the restoration of the sovereign state of Biafra. Father, bless them all in the name of Chukwoki Kabiyama. How can I forget Biafrans? Those who have paid the ultimate price because of what they believe in. Those who have given their life for the struggle. Father Lord, they gave their life because they believe in this noble cause. And any man who will come to derail this journey. Oh, let the spirit of those who have departed destroy them as well in the name of Chukwoki Kabiyama. I pray for those who are still alive, those who are still still strong, those who are on ground in Biafra land, Chukwoki Kabiyama continue to bless them, 
Continue to give them the power. Continue, oh God, to protect them from the hands of our enemies. From the hands of the enemies we did because these are the most dangerous enemy of all. But Father, in all, we we'll pray that your name alone will be glorified. We we'll pray that we all will see Biafra together because Biafra is a project that has been destined by you, Chuku Kikabiyama. And this we pray this morning in the name of Chuku Okikabiyama. And we say, Ise, Ise, Ise. This is Radio Biafra Middle East. We are on breakfast. And Biafra is rising. All right, wherever you are joining us right now, if you are joining us from all parts of Biafra land, we want to welcome you this morning because this is your radio station, it is your platform, it is Radio Biafra Middle East for goodness sake. And my name is Mazi Kechukwanoha, because we know what we stand for, we know what we are gunning for, and we are still on track. Because Biafra is our final destination. All right. Hello, Motherland. Let's go to Motherland Biafra. And welcome our people in Motherland Biafra. Because Biafra is rising this morning. And we have every cause to be grateful to Chukwoki Kabiyama. Because he has ordained this project Biafra. Let me tell you something. It is not easy to fight the struggle in a peaceful manner. When those who hate us are all armed to the teeth. But yet, Chukwu Kikabiaba has been protecting his people, especially our brothers in Motherland Biafra. This one is for you. Hello, Motherland. Tell me how you're doing. All right, welcome back once again, Great Biafra. It is still Radio Biafra, Middle East, and of course, Biafra is rising. All right, let us digress a bit and talk about something. Let us talk about something that is important something that everybody's asking question but before i do so i want to warn us i want to warn us our enemies felt i'm talking about the enemies within because those are the most dangerous enemies whenever they see a window of opportunity they try their best to come and bring in confusion they try their best to come and pretend to be what they are not but of course we know our people Anybody who is a true IPOBians, anybody who is a true member of IPOB families, if he or she is in doubt of anything, if he or she need clarif clarification, I beg your pardon, on anything, what they do is they know whom to talk to. They know they have a coordinator. They know they have a principal officer that works in the family where they are, whom they can approach and ask. Tell me what is going on on this or that. And they will be clarified. But you see those people who come up on Facebook, social media. And begin to ask the whole world question. Those are not our members. Those are not IPOB family. And I tell you what. Only IPOB families have the right to ask some questions. And of course, when they ask that questions, they know where to channel their questions to. That is why I am not surprised. When you see people who come on social media and begin to talk rubbish, you realize immediately that these people are not one of us. That these people are enemies. They are taking chances, trying to confuse Biafras and thinking we don't know them. We know you. You can change your name for all you want. We are IPOB. We are one family. We will never fall. We will never surrender. We have passed through many things. And we are still standing. What we are experiencing now is a victory. But our enemies are trying to insinuate somehow that something has gone wrong. But everything is under control. We are still on the track. And I will explain to you why. Our little man said, Namde Kano always used this to talk. He will say, He will say, let me explain to you so that you may understand. When you go into election boycott, when you go into election boycott, you have a purpose. I hope somebody is listening to me this morning. You don't go into election boycott for the fun of election boycott. There is a reason why you boycott election. If you don't know that reason, let me remind you. 
Because people have been asking questions which I don't understand where that question is coming from. Now, I want to ask you a question first before I explain. Why do you boycott election? You that is listening to me, you that is hearing my voice, why do you boycott election? Election is a civil disobedient method. You boycott election because you don't like what is happening. Because you want to change the status quo. Because you have a demand that you want to be met. This is why you boycott election. We don't close our shops and go and sit at home for nothing. We close our shops and go and sit at home because we want something to be done. We want our demand to be met. I am privileged to be in the studio with our leader now and then when he broadcasts. And this is what he always say. Of course, most of us have his audio. And you can go back and play that audio and then you hear. Our leader will always say, we are not voting. We are boycotting until they make, make our demand. Now listen to me in brackets. Until they met our demand. That, you know one thing I like about Mazen Namdekano? What he says in the morning is what he says in the afternoon. Is what he says in the evening. He says, we are not going to vote until our demands are met. And he even said, if they meet our demand this night, tomorrow morning I will come on air and call off the election boycott. My goodness me. My name is Mazi K. Chukwonoha. You can find me on Facebook, Mike Biafra Obi. Inbox me and I will forward you all those audio so that you can go and listen. Mazi Nam, they kind of don't say one and do two. Never. What he said to you in the morning, that's what he says to you again in the afternoon. And that is what he says to you again in the night. Thank God I am a witness. I have been here with him on numerous of the broadcasts. And on those broadcasts, I even record them myself because I'm the one who record it behind the scene. And of course, distribute those recordings. And I have all the audios. We are boycotting election because we want something. That is why we are boycotting election. We cannot just boycott election for the fun of boycotting election. You need to have a demand that needs to be met. That is why you boycott election. You don't go and sit at home for nothing. You sit at home and say, okay, let me remind you, we always use this slogan. No referendum, no election. We are familiar with this. Meaning, if you give me referendum, then I will do what boycott, I will do what call off my boycott. But if you don't give me this, I will not do this. That is the essence of boycotting election. Now, our leader made an announcement yesterday, which is in line, in sequence with what he has been saying all this while. That if the zoo meets all his demand, if the zoo meets all the demand of IPOB, if they meet the demands of Biafra, that he, Mazin Nam Dekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, will come up on air and call off the boycott. That was what he has been saying, even from day one he broadcast here in Israel. And of course, I am present and I'm a witness to that. Now, those demand has been met. And he has to keep to his word. He has to come up on air and do what? Call off the boycott. And of course, all IPOB members understand where we stand. All IPOB members know our project. All IPOB members know where we are going. We have not called off the agitation for the restoration of Biafra. We have not called off agitation for the restoration of Biafra. What we called off was election boycott because we have a demand. And that demand has been met. So why should we continue to boycott if the demand has been met? I ask you. If you are asking me for something and I said, no, I won't give it to you. And you say to me, well, if you don't give it to me, then I won't come to work tomorrow. If I call you on the phone and say, Okay, you say you're not going to come to work tomorrow. I have given you what you want. What will you do? Will you still go back home and sit? No, you come to work because you have received that which you have threatened me with. And that is exactly what happened. But of course, like I said, the enemies of Biafra are anywhere. They are everywhere. E-rats. 
waiting for opportunity waiting for an open window so that they can strike but you know what we are always seven steps ahead of our enemies that i can assure you 